Hello from Grozny, dear friends. Today we will discover the Chechen Republic of Russia. Chechnya is a republic of Russia situated in the North Caucasus. From the mid-1990s to around 2015, the Chechen Republic was considered as one of the most dangerous places on Earth. State travel advisories of the US, Canada, the UK and some other countries strongly warned their citizens against traveling to the North Caucasus, including Chechnya and Mount Elbrus, due to terrorism, kidnapping and risk of civil unrest. Russians also advise women to avoid that region of Russia if traveling solo. Let's find out what the real situation is like in Chechnya now and whether all the restrictions and propaganda are justified or not. So, behind me you see the heart of Chechnya, a mosque named after Ahmad Kadyrov, who is the first president of the Chechen Republic. And actually, anything in this city is named after Ahmad Kadyrov because he is loved by everyone here and he is the national symbol of peace. We're now walking at the main street of Grozny, named Vladimir Putin Boulevard, after he funded to restore this war-torn state. This street is full of cafes, restaurants, fashionable boutiques. By the way, due to the stigma of conflicts, international brands like McDonald's or Starbucks aren't allowed to operate in this city. So you will only find the local brands, plus the locals stick to their traditional cuisine. So you will only find the local brands here, as international ones aren't allowed to operate here as in the rest of Russia. By the way, you won't find a bar culture here in Chechnya because the population here is Islamic and this Republic of Russia has a strict non-alcohol law. So it's not sold anywhere in the restaurants or at the stores. I know that there are some specific stores where you can buy it from 8 a.m. till 10 a.m. But there are very few of the stores in this republic. So yeah, this region of Russia has strict non-alcohol law. And of course, there are many rules how to behave, how not to behave. You can see that most of the girls here wear very long skirts or dresses and cover their heads. Also, I was told that a not married girl in this Republic of Russia cannot walk the streets alone unless she is accompanied by a man. So I here look like a really weird solo traveling woman. But in the capital, it's fine if I walk the streets alone because they are very indulgent to tourists. They know that we are tourists. We have another religion, another laws and culture. So in the capital, it's fine. But if you go outside of Grozny, I know that they're much more conservative, traditional and strict about this laws. The memorial to those killed in the fight against terrorism. There is no exact data, but it's known that thousands of people were killed during the Chechen wars. And let me give you some information about the two Chechen wars so that you have a better idea about the history of this place. 
1992, Chechen and Ingushetia autonomous region divided into two separate republics, Chechnya and Ingushetia. The president of Chechnya, Dudaev, pursued aggressively nationalistic anti-Russian policies, and Chechen opposition groups with Russian military backing them tried unsuccessfully to depose Dudaev. In 1994, the first Chechen war started. Russian troops invaded Chechnya and took the capital city of Grozny. Chechen guerrilla resistance continued, however, and a series of ceasefires were violated. In 1997, a peace treaty was signed, but left the question of Chechnya's eventual status undetermined. In late 1999, Prime Minister Vladimir Putin blamed the Chechen government for the influx of terrorism and banditry in the country, and the second Chechen war started. Only in 2009, the Russian president Dmitry Medvedev announced that Russia had ended its counterinsurgency operations in the Republic. Nevertheless, some outbreaks of violence continued to occur here up till 2015. Despite all the propaganda and warnings, though, the Chechen culture is uniquely colorful and romantic, and Chechnya is a land of extraordinary beauty, full of majestic mountains with lush vegetation and authentic mountaintop villages, owls. I'm now at the restaurant somewhere in the mountains of Chechnya and I met Nick, a police officer from Washington. <laughs> what is he doing here in Chechnya? Actually, I was surprised to find out that he knew about my channel. So, Nick, what do you think about security here in the North Caucasus and Chechnya? Generally, I feel pretty safe. Uh, of course, I'm a little bit more alert it's a new place as i would be anywhere but i've not seen anything that has made me feel unsafe in any way talking about moscow what what would you say moscow i'm pretty comfortable in moscow uh, i feel really safe there um, there's no problems it's clean it's safe and before you came to russia what image of the country did you have did you hear some propaganda or s something uh, about Russia not being safe, probably. Certainly, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of um, this. Uh, there's this idea in the U.S. that Russia is a very unsafe place. Uh, my family is originally from Russia, so I've always kind of had a soft place in my heart for it. So I didn't necessarily believe that uh, the first time I came. It just kind of confirmed that that was not true for me. And how did you like it traveling here in the North Caucasus? Awesome. No regrets. Police officer's word. <laughs> Traditional Chechen food is here. Zhezhik galnash, which is dough, meat, and garlic sauce. Suluguni fried cheese, and flatbread with pumpkin. What do you say? Delicious. Yummy. What did you like the most? Probably shashlik, but it was all delicious. What else? Mm. The bread was pretty good, unexpectedly sweet, but uh, a pleasant surprise. I arrived to Aul, which is a mountain village of Chechnya in the mountains. This is the center of the Aul. You can see the mosque and we're going to discover what they have in this village. The local girls here are so nice and they've decided to show me their village. Um, they don't want to be seen in the video on YouTube, but it's so nice of them. They just came up to me and said that they wanted to show me their village. And now we're going to the observation point, kind of. Well, this is the main building of this Aul, which is a library. It says, thank you, Ramzan. Actually, today is September the 6th, and it's the day of the Chechen Republic, which is supposed to be a huge holiday here when people celebrate the end of 
despotism, terrorism. This holiday is celebrated since 2002, when at the referendum the Chechens decided to join Russia. And in this library is supposed to be a huge concert for this holiday, but I don't see anything happening here. I don't even see people in this owl. Where is everyone? <laughs> the houses here are pretty nice brick houses with these beautiful gates. So I would say these aren't some poor houses actually. Hello beauty, he's very thin though. This actually looks like my small hometown nearby city Perm or I'd say like any other smaller Russian towns. This is actually a local grocery store. Lots of junk food. Um, and this actually also reminds me a grocery store in the village of my grandma. <laughs> because everything is so minimalistic, I would say. And the same smell. Guys, why are you all watching? Because I'm the first person in this village. I'm going back to Grozny now. At first I was so disappointed that there was no concert for the day of the Chechen Republic. But then I've met one of the most hospitable people I've ever met. These girls were so nice and they've just decided to show me their awul. We had a walk, we've talked about differences of life in Chechnya and the rest of Russia. They were just so nice. And now their brother actually drives me back to Grozny. I told them that they don't have to do that, but they insisted. So now he drives me to Grozny. He doesn't want to be seen in the video as well, but they're all so nice. I'm now in the most modern part of Grozny, named Grozny City. It's a set of seven skyscrapers which make a business center and people also live there and guys I do feel like a foreigner here because all the people stare at me I don't look like the locals I don't wear the clothes like the local girls many people just approach me and ask what's my nationality where I'm from what I'm doing here in Chechnya some people even stop their cars and start conversations with me. Especially the guys. Well, only the guys, actually. I'm surprised. Well, actually, the most beautiful Russian girls are said to be from the Caucasus. From here, from Chechnya and Dagestan. Because they're very tall and always so well-groomed. They pay a lot of attention to their appearance, to their nails, hair skin, everything, and they always look perfect. I don't know how they do that, I can never do that, but they always look so perfect and they're also very well mannered, they don't drink alcohol, they're perfect wives, but the Chechen guys like to have fun with the Russian girls, so everyone here approaches me, that's a bit annoying, but at the same time I feel like everyone here is so hospitable Everyone helps me to find different locations. The capital of Chechnya Grozny is the largest city in the Republic. Some time ago this city was labeled by the United Nations as the most destroyed city on earth. 
But on arrival to Grozny, I was surprised to see that now it's a huge, gleaming metropolis with skyscrapers and business centers. Really curious. I told you that international brands aren't allowed here. And this cafe is named Makovsky, which really looks like McDonald's and seems like they just changed the name. It looks like McDonald's, but it's named Makovsky. Well, it is McDonald's in disguise, I guess. Have you ever seen McDonald's in disguise? Well, it's Makovsky, an exact copy of McDonald's, in fact. Is Chechnya safe, you're gonna ask? If I talk about my experience of the last several days in Grozny and Aul's in the mountains of Chechnya, I can honestly say that I feel completely safe. I'm surprised myself because we have this propaganda in the rest part of Russia of Chechnya not being safe as well. And all that statements of the US, Canada governments and some other countries about Chechnya being full of terrorism, kidnapping, um, people being murdered is only a propaganda which is not justified at all. I have to admit though that I was a bit scared to come here by myself because everything that I've heard about Chechnya was about the terrorism and the Chechen wars. That was all I heard about this place when I was growing up. And everyone also kept telling me that I'm crazy to come here alone as a girl. And they also told me that here, if you want to make pictures or videos, you're gonna be in danger or arrested so many people have the image of this place like of North Korea or something but here I am traveling here as a solo woman making a vlog and locals actually were laughing when I told them that I was a bit scared to come here because we have this image of a very inhospitable place and they said, yeah, yeah, we know about these stereotypes and propaganda, that's funny. So don't rely on the media solely. All these statements from the US and Canada governments seem ridiculous when I read them now from here. There is a tradition on my channel. I hide the matryoshka doll with a note from me and 100 rubles in the cities that I go to. Here is how you find the doll in Grozny. Come to a cafe named Gold, which serves traditional Chechen food. You can see its exact location on the screen. Just tell the waitress a code Ellie from Russia and she will give it to you. I hope this tradition motivates more of you to travel in Russia and visit exciting off the beaten path places. Grozny is an adjective that is translated into English as terrible. But the hospitality of the locals and the beauty of the mountains and the nature don't correlate with the city's name at all. The local traditions and laws are pretty strict here about clothes you can wear or your behavior. The Chechens are very humble and most of them don't want to be shown on social media, so I will keep their faces solely in my memory. And the rest? Oh well. It's for you to discover. Thank you so much for watching till the end. You can like the video so that the YouTube algorithm doesn't forget about my channel and check out my next videos about the Chechen people and culture.